Hello, welcome to Industrial Surplus. This is a video demonstration of our 1999 Chevalier Universal uh, cylindrical grinder. It's equipped with an internal grinding attachment, swing down type. Uh, it's also equipped with uh, riser blocks. This machine is uh, built as a 1440, which means 14 inch swing by 40 inch center distance machine. Uh, with the risers, we're getting a swing of uh, 21 inches. Uh, it's in absolutely perfect condition. Really nice. Uh, I think this is probably the nicest machine we've had here on our floor in uh, quite some time. Uh, we were lucky to get it. And uh, I think you will agree if you decide to purchase it yourself. Uh, it does have the universal workhead, swivels. Universal grinding head, which also swivels. Uh, the wheel on there right now is a 16-inch uh, diameter by 4-inch wide with a 5-inch hole. Uh, it's uh, mounted, uh, it's taking a 4-inch wheel because of the recess in the wheel. If uh, a standard wheel without the recess, uh, the biggest you can go is 2 inches. Uh, this is the ID spindle. Swing down tight. It has its own motor on the back here. Spring-loaded tailstock. Over here is a uh, table-mounted wheel dresser. The electrical panel. On the back side here is the uh, hydraulic pump. And a uh, operation manual, parts manual. Two-axis digital readout. The Sony. Uh, it's equipped with a uh, touch screen uh, operator's control panel. Very easy to use. The uh, basic cycles of the machine are reciprocating grinding with an automatic infeed, plunge feed grinding, and uh, internal grinding. The uh, machine cycle uh, in a reciprocating grinding mode. Uh, pick feeds or in feeds automatically to a certain point, reaches the point, will spark out, and then return and stop the machine in position, ready for the next uh, part. It has a uh, coolant system with a magnetic coolant uh, 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 filter as well as a uh, paper filter. There, in here is uh, two paper filters extra paper filters. It's also equipped with a uh, balancing stand, grinding arbor for balancing the wheels. This is a uh, draw rod for the work head with a mounting plate for chucks. Uh, unfortunately we don't have any chucks available. In this box here are extra grinding quills for the internal spindle. Uh, splash guards that aren't on the machine just for the demonstration purposes and a little toolbox, uh, not much in here, but uh, some nuts, bolts, looks like a wheel puller, things like that. Uh, this is the back side of the work head. Grinding wheel head, showing the, the risers. And this is the uh, coolant tank with the paper filter and the magnetic filter. So we'll go ahead and uh, start the machine and do the uh, reciprocating cycle. Start the uh, actuation, turn the panel on, start the cycle. You can see that it infeeds at uh, each end of the stroke. And it will do that uh, till it reaches position. Again, uh, once it reaches position, we'll get a spark out and uh, return to position, original starting position, and stop the machine. Very quiet, very smooth. 
Just a beautiful machine. Okay, reached its position, backing off. And machine parks. Now we'll do the uh, plunge cycle. Again, uh, it's a very easy setup. We just switch a lever here. Uh, change a little touch screen here. And cycle start. Now it's uh, fast forwarding to position. Feeding in. Fine feed. Okay, reach position, retracting the head, and it'll come to a stop. Okay, now the last thing is uh, just to turn on the uh, ID spindle so you can hear it. Uh, this this is, uh, the operation of this of course is just like the uh, reciprocating mode. And uh, we're not going to turn it on just because we're not really set up for it, but we will turn the uh, head on so you can hear it. The OD wheel is turned off. It's coasting to a stop. That'll take several minutes, but uh, we could start the ID spindle now. So that's, uh, that's the ID spindle, we'll turn that off and uh, I think that uh, is all we needed to show you on the machine.
give you a good idea what it is. I think you'll agree that is as, as nice as it is. I have to say that uh, this video and our pictures probably cannot capture how nice this machine really is. Uh, it's something that should be uh, inspected in person for your own satisfaction and I am sure that you will agree with, uh, with my uh, opinion. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call and uh, we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.